operation and maintenance of loader. This video will brief to you the operation and maintenance of Eaton Heavy Industries loader series. Please carefully read the operation manual before any specific operation. 1. Basic operations of loader. Basic operations for instruments, switches, and levers within driver cab. 1. Power and start key switch. Operation. Insert the electric lock key and rotate rightward to first position to accurate the power master switch. In such case, the power supply of whole machine is turned on and the instruments are under initial indication status. Rotate rightward to second place to start the engine. After the successful start of engine, release the key to automatically return to first place. 2. Dashboard Instruments A. Voltmeter This voltmeter is of movie magnet structure to indicate the voltage of electric system with a mirroring range of 18 to 32 voltage and the normal indication at 21 to 29 voltage. B. Engine water temperature gauge this gauge is of movie magnet structure to indicate the temperature of engine coolant with a mirroring range of 50 to 115 centigrade degree and the normal indication at 60 to 100 centigrade degree. C. Engine oil pressure gauge. This gauge is of Borden tube structure to indicate the pressure of engine oil with a mirroring range of 0 to 1 ampere and the normal indication at 0.3 to 0.75 ampere. During idling, the engine oil pressure shall be above 0.07 ampere. D. Brake air pressure gauge. This gauge is a Borden tube structure to indicate the air pressure in the air cylinder with a mirroring range of 0 to 1 ampere and the normal indication at 0.6 to 0.8 ampere. The brake air pressure warning lamp will light up and the brake will not work reliably when the air pressure fails to reach or is less than 0.4 ampere. In such case, do not start up the whole machine and stop the machine for immediate checking. E. Torque converter oil temperature gauge this gauge is of moving magnet structure to indicate the alternate oil temperature of torque converter. When the mirroring range of 40 to 140 centigrade degree, the normal indication at 40 to 120 centigrade degree, and maximum temperature indication not more than 120 centigrade degree. When the temperature indication exceeds 120 centigrade degree, Move the gear shift lever to a lower gear and reduce the engine speed or stop the working till the oil temperature drops to normal range. F. Transmission oil pressure gauge. This gauge is of Borden tube structure to indicate the main oil pressure of transmission gear shift control valve with a mirroring range of 0 to 3.2 ampere and the normal indication at 1.1 to 1.8 ampere. G. Fuel gauge. This gauge is of moving magnet structure to indicate the fuel amount with a mirroring range of 0 to 1 and the normal indication at 0 to 1. H. Hour meter is functioned to record the working time of the engine with a measurement range at 0 to 999.9 hours. After the start of the engine, the characters within the hour meter flash once every several seconds to start the counting. 3. Indicator Lamps A. Left right turn indicator lamps. The indicator lamps will flash to indicate the working status of left right turn signal lamps. B. Charging indicator lamp. This indicator lamp indicates the charging status of the alternator. The charging indicator lamp shall light up when the power supply of whole machine is turned on and shall turn off after the normal start of the engine to indicate the normal working of the alternator which will charge the battery. Say, 
low air pressure warning nap. The light up of this nap indicates that the air pressure is less than 0.4 ampere. When the air pressure rises to more than 0.4 ampere, this nap will turn off. If this nap light up during the working, stop the machine immediately for checking. If the warning nap lights up constantly, check the wires for fall off or check the air pressure sensor for damage and handle accordingly. D. High beam indicator nap. The light up of this indicator nap indicates that the head nap is lighting under high beam mode. E. Engine oil pressure warning nap. The light up of this warning nap indicates that the engine oil pressure is less than 0.07 ampere. This nap shall light up before the start of the engine and shall turn off after the start of the engine. If this nap lights up during the running of the engine, stop the machine immediately for checking. F. Brake indicator nap. Provided that the air pressure is sufficient, more than 0.4 ampere. The brake indicator nap and the brake nap in the tail lamp will light up when the brake pedal is stepped down and will turn off when the brake pedal is released. If the brake nap fails to light up when the brake pedal is stepped down, stop the vehicle immediately for checking. 4. Electric control switch. A. Lighting switch. Push down the mid portion to turn on the front and the rear clearance naps and the instrument naps and push down the rear portion to turn on the head nap power supply and the low beam while the front and the rear clearance naps and the instrument naps are still on. B. Working nap switch. Push down the rear portion to turn on the top working nap of the driver cab. C. Teal lamp switch. Push down the rear position to turn on the teal lamp on the engine hood. D. Roof lamp and fan switch. Push down the mid position to turn on the driver cab roof lamp and push down the rear portion to turn on the electric fan. The swing angle of the electric fan can be adjusted. E. Combination switch. Factions, turn signal lamp switch, headlamp dimmer switch, and the wiper switch. Operations, turn signal lamp. Push forward the combination switch control lever to flash the left turn indicator lamp and the left front and the rear turn lamps and pull backward the control lever to flash the right turn indicator lamp and the right front and the rear turn lamps head lamp dimmer push down the rear portion of the lighting switch to turn on the low beam the combination switch control lever is in the neutral position push down the control lever to turn on the low beam Push up the control lever from a neutral position to turn on both no beam and high beam for overtaking purpose. Up on release, the control lever will automatically return to the neutral position. Wiper switch. Rotate the wiper triangle mark on the control lever from position 0 to position 1 to run the wiper on the driver cab at no speed. Rotate from position 1 to position 2 to run the wiper at high speed. When the triangle mark is rotated to position 0, the wiper will turn off and reset automatically. F. Heater switch. Push down the rear portion. Turn on the heater. Air vent. Adjust the angle of air vent to change the angle and direction of the heater airflow. G. Electric horn switch. The electric horn will sound when this switch is pressed. H. Emergency nap switch. This machine is equipped with emergency warning signal, which is undertaken by five turn signal lamps. In event of obstacle or oil malfunction, push down the rear portion of the emergency nap switch to flash the left and the right turn indicator lamps and the front, rear, left, and the right turn signal lamps.
in order to signal the vehicles behind and prevent the backward collision accidents. I, by turning this switch counterclockwise by 90 degree, the switch will be up. Continuing to turn it by 90 degree, it will be on again. This switch is used to cut down the power supply of the complete machine rapidly in an emergency. When the machine is working, it is not allowed to disconnect this switch. If the work is finished by deactivating this switch, the electric safety will be improved. 5. Operations of other switches and buttons 1. Fuse case It is located on the nap side face of the dashboard. Operations of levers and pedals 1. Gear shift control lever Push forward from neutral gear to first drive gear and second drive gear in turn. Pull backward from neutral gear to reverse gear. 2. Steering wheel The steering wheel controls the rotation direction of full vehicle. Rotate counterclockwise to turn the machine left and rotate clockwise to turn the machine right. 3. Working device control levers Bucket rotation control lever Mid position Stand still Pull backward Retract the bucket Push forward Tilt forward the bucket Movable arm control lever Mid position Stand still Push forward Lower the movable arm Push further forward Float the movable arm Pull backward Raise the movable arm 4. Handbrake Handle Pull up the handle to apply the parking brake and push down the button and push down the handle to release the parking brake. 5. Throttle Pedal Step down to throttle up, release to throttle down. 6. Foot Brake Pedal Step down to apply the braking. The brake indicator lamp and the brake lamp within tail lamp will light up. The brake indicator lamp and the brake lamp will turn off when the brake pedal is released. 7. Adjustment of seat A. Seat backrest adjustment switch Pull this switch to adjust the seat backrest back and forth. B. Seat height adjustment switch Pull this switch to adjust the seat up and down. C. Seat position adjustment switch Pull this switch to move the seat back and forth. 2. Basic operation of loader. 1. Start. Before starting the engine, conduct the check-in and maintenance as per the daily check-in items. Before driving and confirm that all portions are normal. Before start, pay special attention to position the gear shift lever to neutral position. The handbrake at brake position and the working device control lever to neutral position. Fulfill the pre-start preparations as per the operation manual of diesel engine. After all, preparations are ready. Rotate rightward the power on the start key switch to first position to turn on the power supply and check whether the instruments and electric devices are normal. Then, slightly step down the throttle and rotate rightward the key switch to second position to start the engine. If the engine fails to start normally within 5 to 10 seconds, the continual working time for the starter motor shall not exceed 30 seconds. Release the switch immediately and wait for 2 minutes before the retry. If the engine fails to start for 3 consecutive times, stop the start twice and resolve the malfunction before retry. After the engine is started, idle ran the engine at 600 to 750 RAM per minute and closely observe whether the indications of all instruments are normal. Prepare the vehicle data only after the water temperature reaches 55 centigrade degree and the air pressure reaches 0.45 MPa. 2. Driving 
Raise the bucket to the transport position. Tilt backward the bucket. Maintain at driving state. Sound the horn. Step down the brake pedal. Release the handbrake. Position the gear shift control lever to first start up gear. Release the brake pedal and slightly step down the throttle for slow startup. Three gear shift. Make sure to stop the vehicle for gear shift to switch between drive gear and reverse gear. Conduct the gear shift one gear by one gear and never conduct the gear jump operations. Four stop of loader. Shift the gear shift control lever to neutral position. Operate to lower the bucket onto the ground. Operate the control lever of working device to neutral position, and position the handbrake handle at parking brake status. Before stopping the engine, gradually reduce the engine speed to 800 to 1,000 rand per minute and rand for several minutes to uniformly cool down all portions. For electric flame out, that the current is broken mode of engine. Rotate leftward the electric lock K directly to position zero to cut off the power supply of whole machine. For electric flame out, that the current is given mode of engine. First, to push down the button to stop the engine, and then rotate leftward the electric lock K directly to position zero to cut off the power supply of her machine. In turn, at the time of flame out, for manual flame out mode of engine, pull up the flame out handle to stop the engine, and then rotate leftward the electric lock K to position zero to cut off the power supply of her machine in turn at the time of flame out. When the air temperature is below zero centigrade degree, thoroughly drain the coolant timely after the parking. In order to prevent the freezing cracking of engine parts, it's unnecessary to drain the antifreeze if the coolant is already added with antifreeze when the air temperature is below minus 30 centigrade degree. Remove the battery and move into a warm room to prevent freezing cracking. 5. Operations 1. Bucket up operation Maintain the bucket basically horizontal to the ground with slight forward inclination. Start up the vehicle at a low gear, close linearly to the material to be nodded, and push the bucket into the material. Shift the movable arm control lever to raise position and operate the bucket control lever to tilt backward slowly for two to three times in order to fully node the material to be noded. Maintain the bucket at maximum backward inclination. Angle and adjust the transport status of approximate 40 cm high for the ground. 2. Excavation operation It's better to position the forward inclination angle of bucket at approximate 0 to 10 degree. Drive forward the vehicle at low speed till the blades of the bucket are inserted by 10 to 30 centimeters. Then ride the movable arm on one hand and tilt backward on the other hand to bucket up the loading material. If the loading material can't be bucketed due to over high resistance during the insertion, slightly raise the bucket and timely adjust continually between the raise and lower positions to ensure the smooth implementation of excavation. Attention! During the bucket up or excavation operations, ensure that the two sides of the bucket are under uniform load. Instead of subjecting to load on one side, in event of wheel slip, please timely and appropriately release the throttle pedal to reduce the load. Instead of stepping down further the throttle pedal for reluctant operations. 3. Self-handling operation The self-handling may be adopted under the following conditions. When the truck can't be used on land graded side with soft roads, when it's waste of time to transport with truck due to short handling distance, 
The driving speed for handling depends on the handling distance and the road condition. To ensure safety and steadiness and good visual vision during handling, rotate upward the bucket to limit position and maintain the lower articulated point of a movable arm at appropriate 400 mm from the ground. 4. Unloading Operation while unloading the material onto a vehicle or a material yard, raise the movable arm in such manner that the bucket will not touch the vehicle compartment or the material yard when the bucket is tilted forward, and then push forward the bucket control lever to tilt forward the bucket for unloading. The bucket control lever can control the full or partial unloading. During the unloading, operate slowly in order to relieve the impact of material onto the vehicle. When any material is adhered or deposited on the bucket, pull the bucket control lever back and forth to lock the bucket onto the movable arm to vibrate off the material. At completion of unloading, lower the movable arm to get ready for next operation. 5. Grading Operation Position the blades of bucket at certain angle against the ground and drive backward the whole machine steadily at no speed to conduct the grading operations such as leveling and foundation laying. Use a bucket to bucket up the sandy oil and which driving backward the machine at low speed. Tilt forward the bucket for 10 to 15 degree to uniformly spread the sandy soil. In addition, this machine can be used to spread the soil. 6. Bulldozing Operation Position the bucket at parallel with the ground to conduct the filling and the leveling operation. In such case, use the bucket to fully load the sandy soil and maintain the bucket at horizontal status against the ground for operations. Rough leveling Fully tilt forward the bucket, position the place of bucket to contact the ground, and drive backward the machine at no speed to level the ground. Finish leveling. Use the bucket to load the sandy soil. Position the bucket at horizontal status. Lower the bucket onto the ground. Position the movable arm lever to neutral position, and then drive backward the machine slowly. Three. Basic Maintenance of Loader 1. Running of new vehicle Up on receipt of new vehicle, the user must fulfill the running. In order to run all friction portions of the machine, ensure reliable working of this machine, and prolong the service life. The running period of new vehicle is 30 hours. During the running, please abide by the following regulations and pay attention to the operation and maintenance. 1. Running every gear for 10 hours. 2. During the rain, the loaded weight shall not exceed 60% of the rated load. 3. Control the vehicle speed at 5 to 30 km per hour. 4. Notice the lubrication status of the machine and replace or add lubricating oil or grease as per the specified interval. 5. Make sure to frequently notice the temperatures of the transmission, front and rear axles, wheel hub, and brake disc. In event of the overheating, find out and resolve the cause. 6. Before and after each working or driving, Checking the work status of various portions. Check the tightening status of bolts and lugs. And check the connections between drive shaft and transmission flange and axle flange. The connecting bolts between drive axle and frame shall be checked at least once a shift. 7. During the rain, it's preferable to shovel and load loose materials and not to act too violent or hist. 8. Fulfill the following works after a new vehicle runs in for 8 hours. 1. 
Check the tightening status of all bolts and the lugs, and especially check thoroughly the cylinder head bolts. Tighten in turn under hot status as per operation manual of diesel engine. The exhaust pipe bolts, fastening bolts of front and rear axles, wheel rim bolts, and drive shaft connecting bolts for one time. 2. Clean the engine oil strainer and fine filter and the fuel filter. 3. Check the tension of the fan belt. 4. Check the wiring posts of battery for looseness and ensure the solid and reliable connections of battery wires. 5. Check the transmission oil level. 6. Check the sealing status of hydraulic system, air pressure system, and brake system. 7. Check the connection fixing status of all control levers and throttle lever. 8. Check the connections of electric system, the power supply status of alternator, and the working status of lighting and turn signal lamps. Line. Fulfill the following works after rain. 1. Clean the filter screen of transmission oil sump and replace with new oil. 2. Replace the engine oil. 2. Precautions for operation of loader 1. No matter what kind of transport tool is adopted, please make sure the front and rear frames have been knocked with the fixing rods before transportation. The loader must be reliably fixed thereon and ensure good trafficability. 2. The diesel in use must be pure and be precipitated for at least 72 hours. The diesel trademark shall conform to the specification. 3. The gear oil for the transmission and the hydraulic oil for the hydraulic system must be clean and the oil trademarks shall conform to the specifications. 4. Conduct periodical maintenance and lubrication as per the specified requirements. 5. After the start of the engine, idle run the engine till the water temperature reaches to 55 centigrade degree. When the air temperature is at 0 to 5 centigrade degree, use hot water or steam to preheat to more than 30 to 40 centigrade degree before the start of engine. If the air temperature is less than minus 10 centigrade degree, start by means of cold start mode. 6. Start up the vehicle for driving only. After the air pressure reaches 0.45 ampa. During the driving, the air pressure shall be maintained within 0.60 to 0.80 ampa. 7. Do not idle run the engine for a long period in order to prevent impairing the normal thermal status of engine and prevent the formation of carbon deposit and kicking at fuel injector nozzle. In addition, do not run the engine at speed with high vibration, critical speed, in order to prevent damaging the engine parts due to resonance of vehicle. 8. Do not work at top vehicle speed and follow before the engine coolant temperature reaches 70 centigrade degree. In any case, do not run the engine at high speed under unloaded condition. Lie while driving down slope, never stop the engine or coast in neutral. 10. Directly operate the gear shift lever for gear shift during traveling. Instead of stopping the vehicle or stepping down the brake pedal to shift from first gear to second gear, release the throttle and at the same time operate the gear shift lever and then step down the throttle. To shift from second gear to first gear, release the throttle to slow down the vehicle speed before shifting to first gear. To shift from a drive gear to reverse gear or vice versa, Make sure to stop the vehicle before gear shift in order to prevent damaging the internal parts of the transmission. 11. During the driving or working, the engine coolant temperature shall not exceed 95 centigrade degree, and the torque converter oil temperature shall not exceed 120 centigrade degree. 
under heavily loaded condition. Stop the machine for cooling if the temperature exceeds the permissible value. 12. Stop the machine for checking and repair if the transmission oil pressure is less than 1.2 amper. 13. The foot brake can automatically cut off the clutch oil line and disengage the gear and thus is unnecessary to shift the gear shift lever to neutral gear before the braking. 14. After operating the movable arm on a rotary bucket to the required positions, position the control lever to neutral gear. 15. Do not transport the materials with the bucket lifted at highest position while transporting the material. The lower articulated point of movable arm shall be kept appropriate 400 mm from the ground in order to guarantee the stable driving. 16. After unloading the material at position below, the highest position of movable arm, it's prohibited to directly lift the movable arm before retracting the bucket. 17. When the movable arm is above the transport position after the retraction of bucket, it's prohibited to travel the loader towards the material pile. 18. The power of the diesel engine equipped on this machine reduces following the increasing of altitude, environment temperature, and relative humidity. Therefore, during the operation of this machine, the user must notice the local environment conditions and obtain the local actual power of the diesel engine as per the requirements in the power correction table of the operation and maintenance manual of diesel engine in order to correctly operate this machine. 3. Daily checking and maintenance before working. 1. Checking before start. A. Check the water tank level. B. Check the fuel tank level. C. Check the oil amount in engine oil sump. D. Check the amount of working hydraulic oil and brake oil. E. Check the battery for good wiring and check the charging status indicator of the battery to judge the charging status of the battery. F. Check the ceiling performances of all oil pipes, air pipes, water pipes, and accessories. G. Check whether the tire pressure is normal. H. Check for presence of loose fasteners, especially the wheel rim bolts and the drive shaft bolts. I. Check whether all control levers are at neutral positions. J. Check whether the start preparations of the engine are ready. 2. Start of engine. Before start, pay special attention to position the gear shift lever to neutral position. The head brake at brake position and the working device control lever to neutral position. After all things are ready, rotate rightward the power and the start key switch to first position to turn on the power supply and then slightly step down the throttle and rotate rightward the power and the start key switch to second position to start the engine. If the engine fails to start normally within 5 to 10 seconds, the continual working time for the starter motor shall not exceed 30 seconds. Release the switch immediately and wait for 10 minutes before the retry. If the engine fails to start for 3 consecutive times, stop the start twice and find out and resolve the malfunction before retry. 3. Checking after start a. Check all instruments for normal indications. B. Check all lighting devices, indicator naps, horn, wiper, brake naps, and turn naps for intactness. C. Check the engine for flexible and reliable working under both low speed and high speed. D. Check the steering and all control levers for flexible and reliable working. E. Check the foot brake and hand brake for reliable working. F. Engage various gears and observe for presence of abnormal noise. G. 
Check for presence of oil, water or air leakage. 4. Daily checking after working. 1. Check the fuel amount. 2. Check the oil level and the cleanliness of the engine oil sump. Up on detection of over high oil level and gradually thin the oil. Find out and resolve the cause. 3. Check the oil pipes, water pipes, air pipes, and accessories for presence of leakage. 4. Check the ceiling status of transmission, torque converter, hydraulic oil pump, and the steering gear, and check for presence of overheating. 5. Check the connecting bolts of wheel rims and the drive shafts of front and rear axles and the fastening of hinge pins for presence of looseness. 6. Check whether all portions of the working device and the frame are normal. 7. Check whether the appearance and air pressure of the tires are normal. 8. When the air temperature is below 0 centigrade degree, drain the coolant without addition of antifreeze, or it will lead to frozen cracking of engine and radiator. Why? Drain the oil, water, and the dirt from the fuel water separator. 10. Add a lubricating grease to the specified lubricating points of all rotating parts. 5. Periodic maintenance. The periodic maintenances are classified into 10, 50, 100, 250, 500, 1200, and 2400 hours. Conduct the maintenance of the engine as per the operation manual of the diesel engine. 1. Maintenance at interval of 10 hours. 1. Add lubricating grease to all articulated points of the working device. 2. Check the oil level of transmission, hydraulic oil tank, and the brake booster pump. 3. Check the ceiling performance of hydraulic steering and brake systems of working device. 4. Check whether the circuits and electric units of the electric system are normal. 5. Add lubricating grease onto the articulated points of fan shaft and front and rear frames. The swing articulated points of rear axle and the articulated points of working device. 6. Check the levels of fuel tank and water tank. 7. Check other portions to be checked and adjusted. 2. Maintenance at interval of 50 hours. 1. Tighten the connecting bolts for front and rear drive shafts. 2. Check the oil level of brake pneumatic hydraulic master pump. 3. Check the transmission oil level. 4. Check the throttle control, hand brake control, and gear shift control systems. 5. Add lubricating grease onto the frame articulated points, steering articulated points, rear axle articulated points, and fan shaft. 3. Maintenance at interval of 100 hours. 1. Add lubricating grease to all device shafts. 2. Check the gear oil level within front and rear axles. 4. Maintenance at interval of 250 hours. 1. Check the wheel rim bolts and fastening bolts of brake disc. 2. Clean the air cleaner. 3. Clean the engine oil, diesel, and transmission filters. 4. Mirror the pressure of tires. The tire pressure shall be 0.30 to 0.32 Ampa. 5. Check the load carrying wheels and the fastening bolts of working device and front and rear frames for presence of cracking and looseness. 5. Maintenance at interval of 500 hours. 1. Check the inside of transmission for cleanliness up on detection of impurities in the oil. Replace with new oil and clean oil sump filter screen. 2. Tighten the connecting bolts between front and rear axles and the frame. 3. Check and adjust the parking brake. 4. Check the steering system. 
such as idle travel of steering wheel or oil leakage at pipe connector. 5. Replace the diesel and engine oil in the engine oil sump. 6. Check the gear oil of front and rear axles. If the oil is deteriorated, replace with new oil. 6. Maintenance at interval of 1,200 hours. 1. Check all oil filters for presence of damage and thoroughly clean them. 2. Check the brake pneumatic hydraulic master pump and replace brake oil. Read the frame and rotate the wheels to check the braking sensitivity. 3. Clean the fuel tank. 4. Replace the gear oil of front and rear axles. 5. Replace the working oil of hydraulic system and clean the working oil tank. 7. Maintenance at interval of 2400 hours. 1. Check and repair the engine as per the operation manual of diesel engine. 2. Break down the transmission, torque converter, front and rear axles, and wheel reducers for checking. 3. Break down the hydraulic system of steering and a working device for checking and calibrate the working pressure. 4. Marry the natural sink of cylinder and check the sealing performance of all relevant valves under the cylinder. If the sink is more than one time of the specified value, check and repair the cylinder or valve. 5. Check the wheels of working device and film for presence of cracking. 6. Check the wheel rim wheels and various load carrying portions. Thanks for your purchasing the product of Eton Heavy Industries. The related contents may be subject to alteration due to continual improvement and upgrade of our products. Please conduct reasonable adjustments depending on the actual product purchased. Should you have any queries, please timely contact our after-service department via contact number 400